What's up, what's up, guys? And um, welcome. What's up, what's up, guys? This is Big Wise again. Welcome to another content here. I'm super excited to share my knowledge about trading with you. Uh, I want you to stick to the very end because I'll be exposing you to how you can make your time frame together to come up with your trading, like to come up with it, like um, to come up with uh, a potential trade, right? To come up with a potential trade or position yourself to take a trade. So a lot of people have been getting the questions like, how can I connect this? How can I connect that? How can I connect the whole time frame together to make a trade? The more you have different approach to trading or strategy or a lot of things on your screen, the, the more difficult it becomes for you to make decisions. So it becomes more easier by the time you have less, screen, less things on your screen or less things in your mind to consider before you take your trade. So it, it, you want to make trading very, very easy for yourself and straightforward. So, and this is how you want to go about it. So super excited again to share this with you. So I'll be breaking everything down and I don't want you to miss any of this at all because this will really, really up your trading game, like really up your trading game in a big way, like more than what you expect. So this is it, let's get right into it. Um, Different time frame. The number one thing I'll be pointing out, different time frame have different structure. Different time frame have different structure. But before I don't go into that, before I start explaining that, I'm going to explain how time frame get to work. Like it's just same thing, like little little thing accumulating together. They all link together. You might not see it, but they all link together. It, it's no different. Just like you going to a restaurant, you own a company, and you're going there to go and collect your data every 30 minutes. How many sales do you make this, this last 30 minutes? You write it down, you go out. How many sales do you make this, this last 40 minutes? Uh, one hour, uh, uh, 30 minutes. Every 30, 30 minutes, you are going there to collect the data. The same thing is going on on the chat also. Then, for one hour, what is happening every single hour? So imagine now, instead of you going every hour, you're going every four, four hours, right? So the same thing that you get when you go 30, 30 minutes, you will get at when you go four hours because it's actually the collision of what happened within the space of four hours that you get, right? That's a 30, 30, 30, 30 minutes and you collect them together, 30 minutes in, in um, that's in, in eight places and you collect them together and it gives you what you, the information that you want at that moment. So, so you'll be having a, it will be taking more time for you to get more data compared to when you are going 30, 30 minutes, right? So I made this example, I said, um, the time frame is like biscuit, let me just say biscuit, right? Piece of biscuit, you put it inside a sachet, making a sachet, right? Piece of sachet, they are arranged in a carton and piece of carton, like each carton, by the time they stack them together, it, it, it make a container or a lorry of biscuit, right? And those containers, when they stack them all together, they make a warehouse. Right. So this is just our time frame is 15 minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, 40 minutes, right? And um, um, one hour, four hours. I mean, so that is how this whole thing all work. So every time frame actually have their own structure. And if you have not seen my my video on structure, I'm going to uh, on market structure, I'm going to leave the link below in the description so that you can go watch it and understand structure. So that will really help you a lot. So market structure, let me, let me just make it a very, very basic way whereby you really understand it, just a basic way. And um, so you can get you can get it so well. So this is impulse, correct grammar, right? You just want to the first thing you want to do is to really get to understand, really get to understand it. No matter the name you call it, the whole thing is still the same thing. The meaning behind behind it is the major thing you want to do, right? It's the major thing you want to get. So whatever name you call it doesn't really get to matter. But then the meaning of what you're talking about is, is really understanding what you're talking about is really important. Really cool. So then we have we have you call it I. I then I allow or something, but I, I actually just try to make my things very, very simple and basic, not not going for things that will make you think and like you won't be it will be easy for you to remember or it will be easy for you to apply. So you want to make everything very, very simplified for yourself because decision making 
when it comes to trading is very, very important. So you want to really get to break things down. So then this is impulse correction. Then I just put it impulse, then another impulse correction, another impulse correction. And this is how market structure looks like. Then you have it coming down here again. Maybe there's a breaking structure, or you have a breaking structure, then you start moving like this, you start moving like this. This is just market structure in its own, in its own beauty, like just just take it like this for now. But you want to get in-depth understanding about market structure, just click the link below, you actually get the in-depth understanding about market structure. So then everything, every time frame has their own structure, right? Every time frame has their own structure. This very one. This very movement right here, this impulse right here, this impulse right here, this this very impulse, this move, this one move right here. By the time you go on a lower time frame, maybe this is a four hour time frame. By the time you go on a lower time frame, you will definitely be seeing something like this. You will see something like this: impulse, correction, impulse, correction, impulse, correction. So they all make up to it. So as a swinger, if you're swinging your trade. You should be expecting move like this in the market, right? For you to hit your TP. But if you are just fall or you don't like seeing your trade come down, so you just close your trade immediately at this level and, and, and get your phone out. But if you are a swinger, you are somebody that can hold this thing or patient or something like that, and you can do the two together at the same time. Maybe you put in some position that you just want to use to scalp, and you put another position in that you just want to use to swing in a long time. So that's just that about that. So. In a lower time frame, this is what you'll be seeing. This is what you'll be seeing. So by the time you want to do this one, if you actually have a breaking structure and start coming like this, come like this, come like this, come like this, then breaking structure again, moving like that. And that is how it works. That is how they get to link together. So whatever will happen on a higher time frame, just be assured that it has started happening on the lower time frame. It has started happening on the lower time frame. So let, let's just take a little bit of example because if you don't get these, you will not really know how you can get to link this whole thing together. So this movement right here, I'm going to go on. The market is closed right now. I'm going to go on 30 minutes time frame. That's from four hours to 30 minutes. So I'll go locate that very box. You can see I have to drag, drag, drag because what is actually 30 minutes and I have to drag it, drag it, drag it here, right? So just one movement on the higher time frame, but what are you saying here? What you're saying here is different. You're having this, 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 yeah, this, you can see. But on a higher time frame, you actually have those two movements, right? So now, by the time you come, if you if you don't understand how to use this training I'm going to leave the link for you also to so you can get to know how to use trading group, right? So then, that is very very important. So then, um, the next thing, um, that is it. So now that you know that each time frame has their own structure, and when when on a higher time frame when you see swing, it's actually a combination of of a structure of structures on the lower time frame, the combination of moves, different moves on the lower time frame, and that is that. So so now the lower you go. Lesser you get to see. I mean, the lower you go, the lesser you get to see, right? And what I mean, what I mean is, on a higher time frame, you have a bigger picture of what is going on. On a lower time frame, your your vision is dim. You can only see what is around the immediate, around the immediate, immediate, um, and immediate view. But if you want to have an overall view of what is going on, you have to go on a lower, higher time frame to see. So the higher you go, the more you get to see, and the lower you go. The Let's say you get to see. So some, somebody is just seeing like this. Just, all is just seeing is this, this. You don't know maybe on the higher time frame, maybe it's a correction, whereby on the lower time frame, it's actually an impulse, right? It's actually an impulse, like you are seeing an impulse correction, impulse, but on the higher time frame, it's actually a correction. So by the time you are taking a trade, you need to be sure which trend you are in before you start taking the trade. So you need to understand that the higher time frame is there to give you what? The higher time frame is there to to give you, to give you, um, what is it called? The higher time frame is there to give you, to give you direction. The higher time frame is there to give you direction. 
the higher tension is there to give you direction. And, uh, and then the higher tension is there to give you direction. Why the why the lower time frame is there to position you. The higher time frame to give you direction, the lower time frame to position you. Higher time frame to give you direction, the lower time frame to help you position you to catch, just like lion trying to catch its prey and its position. Right? So the higher time frame, you are stand on the mountain and see the direction where the prey are staying. So what it does is now go down the, the lane to actually go to the area where the prey are so the position is closer to them now it's not like it's seeing them from the mountain anymore it's closer to them now then you strike on getting a prey that that are losing up from the crowd that uh, and from their from their garden or from their family so you profit that one and actually feed on that so same thing as those goes to trading here whereby on the higher time frame you actually see the opportunity so on the lower time frame you position yourself for the opportunity and strike on getting your confirmation. So now you always go on the lower time frame to get your confirmation. You always do get your confirmation on the lower time frame. So with this explanation of mine, let's make this all together. Let's just do an example of a simple markup right here. So with that, let's go. For me, I go on four hours time frame. I'm the reason why I go on four hour time frame is because four hours give you a good view. It's like in, like, like the one standing in the middle of it. Of all the whole time frame and also it actually really see, makes you see what's in your thing but but with, with um with four hours you can try to you can see as much as possible so the same thing that is going on on, on higher time frame, the same the only difference is just the time frame right the only difference is just the time frame and you linking them together but they are on different time frame the same market structure or different time frame the same market structure so if your four hours is seeing a potential buy, you should know that your 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 30 minutes will be moving towards making a buy. They have together, they must not be against it. You cannot be seeing a buy on the higher time frame and you're looking for a sell on the lower time frame, except which is a correction. So, but what if you are seeing a potential buy that yes, you are in a buy buy direction. And you are going on a lower time frame to get a sell. You should know so well that your sell you shouldn't stay in the sell for a long time or for a short period of time because the higher time frame is telling you that you are in a buy. And if you are in a buy, the every movement, the lion share, we actually be going in a buy also. So you need to understand that really well. You need to pick that really well. So then let me put it like this. Let me put it then. So we have it this way. We have we have this is what I'm this is what is happening here. Now I'm going to still do a video that is coming up on on market structure, on um patterns, not market structure, patterns, why your pattern fails, why why your pattern fails, why pattern fails. So you need to want a notification bell to so that you can get a lot of this video when it comes out of this company when it comes up. So right now. You actually have this. I, I have this breaking out and replace. Let me just use that as an approach. Break out and replace. If you want to get to know my approach, I have a video explaining my strategy in full. Right, right. Um, I'm going to leave the, the link below for you. Um, inside the the old um, the description right there. So you can just check the description. You see the link to to the structure. You see the link to how to use trading view. You actually get to see the link to my strategy also. It's very simple, basic, and straightforward. So you don't need any other thing or any other thing. I'm not using indicator or whatsoever. So it's very, very simple and straightforward. So break out and replace. So all I'm expecting right here is just a replace. Let me just say I'm expecting a replace right here. Right? I'm just using this actually. Yeah, actually, my trade broke out of this level. So I'm expecting a sell down here for me to take a buy, right? And this buy, you actually, we are telling you to buy in my group. So well, and this is it right here. Uh, you will be. So now I'm expecting a buy. All I do is now I'm expecting a buy on the higher time frame. I'm expecting it to sell down and buy. So by the time I go on the lower time frame, which is most especially 30 minutes, 
So I go and type in, what do I look for? I wait for the same thing, a breakout and retest, right? A breakout and retest of the sale, right? I sell it to sell and it's selling, this is sell, right? A breakout, this is a breakout, this is a retest right here. This is, on the higher time frame, can you see what I was expecting? This is the retest, let me just join me to the channel, right? So right, right time I make it, by the time I make it to the channel, right, you can actually get to see what I'm expecting, especially. But right now, on the lower time, what is happening again? If this is it, dive, dive, dive down to so double bottom, yeah, pattern and all. So you see a breakout. So the same breakout and retest that I'm waiting on a higher time frame, we are having it inside that level because I'm, I'm, I'm just expecting a breakout for a buy. So this level right here, when I've gotten a breakout and retest for my buy, this level right here, this is where. I'm going to articulate. Okay. This is where I'm going to articulate. Okay. So I'm not going to pay for it by itself. I've actually established the fact that I want to cast the buy. Right? I want to cast the buy. So what what the my stop loss goes under my stop loss goes under this level. And what's what again? I target the next oh, sorry. So I target the next point, right? So I've established my, my entry point here. I cannot go on my higher time frame to look for my TP. So maybe I want to take my TP off the next the next system. Let me switch here. Right. So then the job is done. If you see how I made the whole thing together. So if, if you are expecting if you are expecting a trade to switch direction. On a lower time frame, there will be a breakout and retest of structure. So with this, I hope you'll be able to do the same thing. Connect your connect the, the IRDC. You don't need to add multiple multiple time frames together. Maybe for you one, maybe you take on four hours, you take on one hour, you take on no, 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 no. You just need two, maximum of three. Three is getting too much. Maximum of two. So your four hours and 30 minutes will do the magic for you. Except you're not understanding what you're seeing on your screen, then you can go on and have and all. But, but right here, all you just need to do is your four hours and 30 minutes will do the whole magic. And um, I've come to the end of this. So I, I hope you actually got value from this thing. And if you get value from this call, encourage me and encourage the algorithm to actually get to reach out to as many people who are also struggling with this by liking the video, by subscribing, and and um, commenting your thought about it. Whatever video, whatever thing you're struggling with, I think I should do a video on. Please just let me know in the comment section. I'm open to it. Whatever way you want to reach me, you can reach me on WhatsApp, you can reach me on Instagram, I'm going to respond to you. So right now, I have a group for you where I mark up my chart every single day. I go live marking up my chart you see the group right below. Also, yeah, you also see one of my broker, the broker I use, the best broker I use, and then uh, you see them right below. Yeah, I'm going to get commission from that, and you are going to also be winning with me. So if I join my group, it's all for free, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing that all for free right now. So join immediately now before there is a pack price on me. And by the time there is a pack price on me, you know, it's going to be, be it's very, very it's because the whole approach is in high demand right now. It's in high demand. I'm telling you, it's in very, very high demand. So rush up, click on the link, join the group. I'm there. I'm I'm always open to your questions, your response, post your markup. I'm there to correct and everything. So I want to help you grow. I want to help you become a better trader and more. Moreover, to know to ensure that you know what you are doing. Just keep it simple and basic. Then you're good to go and you're awesome. So yeah. Stop this right now. Thank you so much.